Hi guys, it's Lisa. I was just hopping on here um, to say hello and um, I hope that you guys are all doing well and staying safe uh, with this virus and uh, staying home when you can. Um, I had to go out the other day to get a few things and it is crazy AF out there. It was when I came home and watched The Walking Dead last night and I can see I can see ahead in that way if we don't get it under control. Anyway, so um so stay safe. Uh, my second thing I wanted to do was to congratulate my friend Tammy Anderson on 40,000 subscribers. That is huge, 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 huge. I am so proud of you, girl, and you deserve everything. Um, you deserve every one of those subscribers. You've worked so, so hard for them. And, uh, of course, I'm not I could go, okay, well, I'm like this close to catching her, right? I'm not like, I'm only like 38,000 subscribers behind her. So, I mean, we're talking a little bit. So, I'm coming after you, girl. <laughs> anyway, all right, so today I'm going to do a quick pour. I have the Artist Loft ready mixed pouring paints. I've had them for a couple months and I haven't used them yet so I'm using them. And I am doing a dip. I watched a video um, from Gilly Cube and she did a dip on a uh, canvas on bubble wrap and it turned out fantastic. Hopefully mine will turn out half fantastic. If it turns out half as beautiful as um, Gillies, then then it's still going to be gorgeous because this thing came out. If you have not seen it yet, you need to go look. I will try to link it either up there or down there, whichever way I can figure out how to do it. But I have an oval canvas. I have a second one. In case things go good because she got like two dips off of one um I have taped it in the back and I will get all set up and bring you down on the canvas so stay safe everybody and hope you enjoy it I'll see you in a few minutes nope a few seconds Okay, I am back. So I have the bubble wrap here. And then I have my canvas. Uh, I'm using the pre-mixed paints. Like I said, I have got, uh, I'm going to use a crimson. I'm going to use orange, white, aqua green, violet, and bright yellow. Um, she did her little shapes. I'm going to try to do it exactly like she did it. Um, but she did her shapes like in a, in a V. Um, she called them chevrons. Uh, So I'm going to take this, set it aside, and you're going to put your paint on your bubble wrap. Let me set this aside. Take a drink. I'm still using my cup that I made. I love it. Okay. Whoops. 
just moved the whole damn table. All right, so I've taped down the uh, bubble wrap here. All right, so, and then I barked where the thing so that I don't go out of that line. All right, so let's get started. All right, this is going to be the red. Actually, I'm going to stand up for this because I don't know. Today, though, I will have to say that I did get out of my pajamas. So there's that, right? My quarantine pajamas. But I didn't go all out because I just got out of my pajamas and got into sweatpants. So, I mean, it is a step up, right? Right. It's an accomplishment. All right. So, like I said, I haven't used these paints yet. These are ready to pour. I did not use, you know, you don't have to do anything to them. So, I'm going to do Levi's just like Gilly did. I think it's Gilly. Gilly Cube. I'm going to do the V's just like she did. My paint looks a little bit thinner than hers. Hmm. We will see. Okay. Yeah, this paint looks thinner. Okay. Now we'll go with some orange. I don't know how this is going to turn out, guys. But if mine does not turn out, I suggest you go and watch hers and give it a try. Because it was absolutely beautiful. <coughs> so, I've never heard these being called chevrons. Is that like an Australia thing or? All right, now we're gonna put some white. Oops. If this doesn't work, I'm going to try it with thicker paint again. Now we'll do some aqua. Seriously, I think I'm using the same exact colors that she did too. I should put these in a better bottle. These are kind of... Now we're going to do purple. This isn't as dark of a purple as she used, but it is the only purple I got from this line of paints. It's pretty. Chevrons. That sounds fancy. Instead of just saying, hey, I'm making all these V's. Chevrons. Some fancy schmancy stuff there. And then some yellow. 
This is bright yellow. And the cap has purple on it now. So I hope everybody is staying safe. And uh, I'm wondering, cause it's kind of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go along the outside a little bit just to fill in some of these spots I don't want without, whoops. Jeez. Did you just see that? You didn't see it. It's fine. Nobody saw that dripping all over my, oh, it's fine. Okay, so there's like some paint, and I'm wondering when they. Uh, uh, uh. I kind of want a little bit more red through here. I know, guys. I have more than enough paint. All right. So yeah, how exciting is that for Tammy, guys? Should go over to our Facebook page, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa, and give her a big congratulations. That is a a huge deal. Forty thousand subscribers, crazy. She was as excited as I got with two thousand. I can't even imagine. All right, so here's my canvas. I'm going to dip it. Dip it, dip it, dip it. Ready? I'm hoping these little holes don't matter. They might, though, huh? Like I said, my paint is well thinner than hers. So the paint was seeping into the bubbles, which actually would give it the textured. All right. Quit playing around, Lisa. All right. Let's go. Just going to dip it. Dip, dip, dip. I'm not going to push too hard, but I am going to make sure that the whole canvas is getting I'm holding it and I feel like I'm pushing it too much. So scared. All right. Okay, so when she pulled it, she pulled it up like this or from one end, one end to the other. All right, y'all ready for the big reveal? Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to come my way first. Oh my god. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Look, I missed some spots. Oh. 
did she fix these? I think she fixed them with a balloon. I don't have a blown up balloon yet. Oh my God. Look at that. Uh, where's a balloon? Where's a balloon? I don't think I'm that good with the balloon. Where can I set this? totally gonna mess this up, ain't I? Come on. You guys, I don't think you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of like trying to get the paint to come over to the edge. I should have a balloon ready. All right, so that's that one. Now I am going to torch some bubbles out of it and then I'm gonna go set this somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna set it. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, it's too bad that I got those spots. Ugh. All right, so I do have another canvas. So I'm just going to freshen this up just a little bit. I'm like just doing the same exact thing. Hang on one second. I won't make you watch me repeat it all. Hang on. Okay. So I freshened up some of the colors. And I'm going to use another canvas. And I'm going to... Lay it in there. So, I guess with me being super gentle, I had some dry spots here. So I'll press a little bit heavier. I have seen some people that do dips use like a silicone brush or something. Okay. Wish I could see what was going on underneath there. Okay, here we go. Wow. 
pretty is that? I think I should dip the sides. I still got a piece that wasn't covered. Seriously. <sighs> yep, you just screwed it up, Lisa. Way to go. All right, I think I'm gonna dip the sides and see what happens. Whoa, how about you just... I messed it up. You know what, let me try to re-dip. This is a really bad idea. It got muted a little bit. Try to get those bubbles so that they don't. All right. Let me go ahead and try to dip the sides. Got to work fast, though, so that the paint don't like go running go running away from you the back of this canvas is going to be hit <laughs> okay so all my sides are covered now that's kind of pretty right all right i'm gonna go set this aside and i'm gonna bring the other one back so that I can do the sides on that one. Yep, I just dripped paint on the floor. And I just got paint all over my laptop. Look how bright this one is. This was the first one. Pretty, right? All right. Dipping the sides, I'm going to try to keep it in the really bright paint and not the mud. So that way it'll match. I mean, you could just... Here, I'm going to move this. You could paint it like your sides all one color if you wanted to. But, I mean, we're dipping, right? And my dip got the edge a little bit. So, again, not as pretty as hers, but not bad, right? Okay, I'm going to go set this down. Alright, so, let me get these off because I am making a mess. Um, there's some paint here. 
that I can put on a, for skins. I think I'm gonna try to dip for skins. Let me get gloves on. So I'm definitely gonna try this again. Uh, for my first try, I don't think it was too bad. The colors are amazing, I love them. This is cool. I'm wondering if I just like let this dry, if it would like peel up. But while I have it here, I'm gonna do some dips for skins for jewelry so that the paint does not go to waste. Pretty rainbow skins, huh? So yeah, you just set these aside and you let them dry. This is pretty. Eh. Eh. Let me try again. Oh, I don't know. It's starting to get muddy, huh? Yeah. It's starting to get muddy. Something else I could come on, Lisa. I could get a couple of these pop sockets because they were a small area. So I could definitely can definitely pull a couple of them pop sockets out of here. That was the one on black. We'll try one on white. There's a good spot. That is not muddy. Red and turquoise over here. Always a favorite color of mine. Beautiful. Why do I always miss spots? You just kind of want to clean off the edge a little bit. How pretty is that? All right. I feel like this black one can get better. 
and then I will take you guys over for a close up. It's kind of cool, right? Pop the bubbles. Pop the bubbles. All right, I like that one better. All right, let me take you in for a close up on these two paintings. And then I'll let you go. Hang on. Here's the black pop socket. Pretty. Now these paints will dry glossy, but I'll still cover the pop sockets in coat of resin. I'm going to put them here because that's not even right there. All right, let me grab my phone. Okay, guys. So here... This is the first one. are some cells like some actually those aren't cells there were there was air bubbles and when they pop on their own like that they leave that mark so the sides look pretty good right That's so pretty I'm gonna try this again with these paints and I'm gonna mix interference colors in with them This one, I may scrape. Depends on what it's going to do in the next couple, like half hour or something. Not a fan of that, but it could look beautiful if it was embellished. So maybe that'll just be like a background of something. But yeah, the first one, I love it. All right, guys. So thanks so much for watching and go check out Gilly Cube's channel. She's super fun. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Please stay safe. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on our Facebook group, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And again, head over and congratulate Tammy on 40,000 subscribers. And uh, I'll see you next one. Bye. Hi, guys. This is the day after, and they are pretty much all dry. Um, you can see... How glossy it is. This is just the paint, the artist loft paint. I have not put any sealer or anything on them. Let me see if I can somehow get it without ruining it. Uh, Alright, see how shiny it is? Probably did better this way, didn't I? So this one turned out really cool. Very vibrant. Reminds me of, you know how like when you're having a bonfire 
and you throw one of those packs of colored things into your fire and then all the colors come up through the flames. Definitely going to revisit this. Um, technique. It was super fun. And I highly suggest you guys do it. Because, again, super fun. This one I'm not in love with. But. They're my first ones. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.